As you work on your mobile application um, for different platforms, creating different features, you might need to use a date and time object selected by user in different ways and in different uh, shapes and forms. So sometimes you might need to use it in your uh, SQL search or update query. And sometimes uh, you might need to submit it uh, as a request parameter in your HTTP request. And sometimes you might need it to store in a property file. So um, one of the best ways to do it is to extract milliseconds from your date object, uh, which um, you can then use and when needed to construct a new date object out of it. Uh, in uh, Even in other programming languages, like um, you can uh, create a new date object out of milliseconds uh, in PHP or Java or JavaScript. Uh, so when needed, you can always use milliseconds to convert it back to a date object and then use date formatter to display date and time in, in different formats. And you can even create your completely custom uh, display format. So um, let me show you how to extract milliseconds from a date object and also show you how to then create a new date object out of this um, provided milliseconds. So um, to create, um, to extract milliseconds from a date object, let create a new variable. For example, we will um, create a variable called seconds. And then I can reference my date picker and then I will reference date object from which I can get time interval since 1970. So this time interval will be uh, returned in seconds. So uh, once we have seconds, we can uh, convert these seconds into milliseconds easily. So I will create a new variable. I'll call it milliseconds. And then what I'll do, I will take seconds and I'll just times it 1000. And this will have, um, this will create a variable with uh, milliseconds, which will represent current date. And then you can um, print it out or you can store it into a property file or you can um, send it um, as an HTTP parameter with your HTTP request. Then you can um, pass it around and use for in your purposes. So I'll just print it out something like milliseconds. Okay, now let's assume you uh, you were querying database and then you got a time in milliseconds and now you need to create uh, an as date object so that you can then use um, it to create uh, uh, a different format to display date in, and time in different formats. So, and to create an um, data object out of milliseconds is also very easy. So I will uh, create a new variable and I'll call it um, let a new date equals NS date. And then if I close this and call for auto completion, there will be an initializer, which will be, for example, time interval since 1970, which we need. And that will be our seconds, but the value is in milliseconds. So what we can do, we can take this milliseconds and then we can divide it by 1000. So that will convert uh, a new date object, which will represent the time um, which was given to us in milliseconds. And then once we have it, we can again, we can use an as date formatter um, and uh, display date in all different formats. For example, I can print it out and I'll use an S date uh, for an S date for matter. And uh, I can get localized um, a string from date. And here I can customize my date. So um, I have new date. I mean, I can customize the way I want to display that date. So I will reference to an S date. And then that will be formatter, uh, formatter style, I'm sorry. Formatter style. And then I can choose one of the styles like short or full or a long style. So let me choose full style, for example. And I can choose a style to display time with. So I will again reference to NS date, uh, formatter style. And from there I can display again display time as a full stop. 
and so let's save it now and run it and see how it works so i'll choose iphone 5 simulator and run it here we go so let me select um september for example 2 2015 hit on display button and i have my date selected and let me um see what was printed out here we go uh, this is the um, selected date in milliseconds and then i took milliseconds and i converted it back uh, to a date object and then i printed date as a full style wednesday september 2 2015 and then time which is also a full uh, style having milliseconds i can create an s date and then i can use that date to display date in different different formats in any format i i need uh, for my application okay so this is it for this video and i hope it was helpful